When creating a map that has multiple points of data located in a wide geographical area, you can use drill down dimensions to display your layers with the selection hierarchy. This enables you to use different layers at different levels within your map, ensuring only the most relevant information is being displayed. As you make selections in a drill down layer, the dimension used for locations changes to the next dimension in the drill down dimension. First, create a map chart and add a layer to your map. When done, you can create a drill down dimension. Drill down dimensions should have the fields in order of largest geographical area to smallest geographical area. In this case, we select region as our first dimension and then city as our second dimension. Name your dimension. When done, click on Add Dimension. Now you can add the drill down dimension to your area layer. In colors, color your map by measure and select the measure Sales. Let's add a point layer next. Drag and drop your drill down dimension onto your map and add it as a point layer. Now you can edit the properties of the layers to create the drill down layer. In the option tab of the area layer, set the visible drill down levels to custom and select the dimension you want to display as an area. In this case, select region. Doing this, the area layer will show just the region dimension. Next, select the point layer and as before, Select which dimensions to display in this layer. This time, we will select City as the drill down layer. Then you can adjust other settings for the drill down layer in the Properties panel. For example, in the Size and Shape tab, you can modify the point size by using the Sales measure. In Colors, color the point layer by measure with Sales. Finally, click on Done. By selecting a value from the first dimension in your drill down dimension, you will drill down to the values for that selection in the next dimension of the drill down dimension. In this example, selecting a region in your area layer displays the cities for that region in your point layer. And that concludes this video. Thanks for watching.